We're gonna go over some battery uh, basics again. This is an updated video for those of you who wanted a little bit more in-depth battery wiring for 36, 24, and 12 volt in parallel. So we're gonna go over parallel and series hookup and how that works and how you should do it. So uh, check it out. Okay, so we have our multimeter. That's gonna simulate our trolling motor. So I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you. For example, we're gonna start with just a straight up 12 volt. See, we're reading 12 volts here. That's just straight positive to negative. We're gonna hook these up in parallel now. So. And the easiest way to remember this, like I said, is parallel is two parallel lines, straight lines. So you're hooking it straight up together. Positive, positive, negative, negative. This is pretty straightforward, but we're gonna go over this. These are some of the most common questions I get. Um, so that's why I'm gonna, I make this, these videos. I go over a lot of the common stuff that I get at my shop every day. So here we have two 12 volt batteries, but what we've done is now hooked them together. So these two 12 volt batteries are now one giant 12 volt battery. We still have 12 volts. They're hooked together, 12 volts. It just makes this last twice as long. So that's why you wanna go with the parallel. If you have a 12 volt trolling motor, you have room for another battery. I recommend doing it. And then if down the road you upgrade to a 24 volt bat, uh, trolling motor, you already have your two batteries, you just need to switch the wiring. That's parallel. All right, so there's three types of batteries when you're talking about your marine batteries. You have your standard flooded lead acid batteries. You have your AGM batteries, which these ones here happen to be AGM batteries. Then you have gel batteries. Not really gonna go into gel batteries, but I will, uh, you know, they are great batteries. You just have to make sure you have a charger that's capable of charging those gel batteries, or, you know, it's gonna have a selector on the charger in order to do that. Your uh, your AGM or standard uh, lead acid batteries are what most people go with um, as far as just being able to afford them. The advantage of a, uh, let's say an AGM battery over your standard uh, lead acid battery is your lead acid plates, your lead plates, over time, they're gonna break down especially under the heavy vibration and stuff you're gonna encounter on a boat. All that impact and wave impacting uh, and trailering really vibrates and over time, the lead plates will start to break down. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. So there's a glass, fiberglass matting in here that basically holds up to vibration a lot better than a, a standard uh, flooded lead acid battery. So that's the advantage and that's going to be why a lot of the AGM batteries are a little bit more money. So it's up to you if it's something that you want to make the investment in. Um, these will last longer. They do seem to hold a charge a little bit longer because they do last longer. They don't break down. Lead acid battery over time is going to hold less and less of a charge. But you always make sure that you have a good onboard battery charger to keep your batteries healthy. It needs to be a smart charger with a maintenance and a, you know an auto cycle. That way it uh, keeps your batteries healthy and maintained. You can plug them in when you get home from fishing and leave them plugged in until you go fishing the next time. So, hope that helps. Okay, now we're gonna do a 24 volt system. So the 24 volt system, this is where people kind of get scared about it, is you do hook it up from positive of one battery to the negative of the other battery. So right here, the only time you're gonna get a short on a battery is if you go positive to negative on the same battery with the same wire. So that's positive to negative right there. Then remember this is your, these are like your trolling motor. So you're gonna hook the negative lead of your trolling motor to the negative post of one battery. You're gonna hook the positive lead from your trolling motor to the positive post of your other battery. And there we have 25, 24 volts. That's a 24 volt system. That's your output there for 24 volts. You take in your 12 and doubled it to 24 by going positive, negative. Now we're gonna do 
basically the same thing. We're just gonna add one more battery in the mix and get 36. So again, you're gonna go positive of one battery, negative on the other battery. So again, these are like your trolling motor leads. Negative will go to the negative post on the first battery and your positive lead is gonna to go to the positive post on the last battery. So you're going positive, negative, positive, negative between these batteries and then you're getting 36 volt by going from here to here across the three batteries. And you can see we have over 36 volts. We have 38 volts. That's a 36 volt system. Now, you can still hook up anything directly 12 volt to any one of these batteries. That's another common question that I get. In emergency, you need to jump start your crank battery. You hook that up, you're back to 12. Even though from here to here is 36, from here to here you're still 12. Here to here is 12, here to here is 12. But across this 24, across this is 36. So that's how you get your 12, 24, 36 volt trolling motor system. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Like say it's a very common uh, question in the marine industry for fishing and all that um, is, is how you get this with battery wiring. So if you do have any questions, let me know. And if this video helps you, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for, uh, for more content. I'm always doing how-to videos as well as fishing videos. So um, I hope this video helps explain it. And thanks for watching.